Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I will teach you how to make this exact animation in Blender 2.8. It's going to be a smoke simulation, and as always, the tutorial is going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by pressing X to delete the default cube, then click Add, Empty, and then let's add an empty sphere. Then click Add once again, Mesh, and then let's add a UV sphere. Then press G, then Y to grab the UV sphere on the Y axis. Then hold in Shift, select the empty, and then press Ctrl P to set the uh, UV sphere parent to the empty sphere. Then select the UV sphere, add a uh, subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons, and then add smooth shading as well to the object. And then let's use the uh, 3D cursor as a pivot point for later rotations. And then press Shift D to duplicate. Then press R, set, then 90. And then press Shift R to repeat the previous actions. And then select the empty and press R, X, then 90 to rotate the empty 90 degrees on the X axis. Okay, so let's select the uh, sphere and uh, click Object. Quick effects, and then let's add a quick smoke, and then do the same for the other spheres as well. So object, quick effects, quick smoke, object, quick effects, quick smoke, and then uh, do the same for the last sphere. Now we only need one domain, so press X to delete the others. And then let's change the uh, pivot points to the active elements. Then select the domain and then press G, then set to grab the empty on the Z axis and then press S to scale. And uh, then let's press G, then set to grab it on the Z axis and then press S, then X to scale the empty on the X axis. Then go to edit mode, face select, and then press G, then Y to grab the face on the Y axis. The domain contains the smoke simulation and the smoke cannot leave the domain. So let's go back to object mode. And then we're going to animate the uh, spheres. So uh, select the empty sphere. And then press N. And then let's insert keyframes. So right click. And then let's insert a single keyframe for the uh, Y rotation and Y location. And then let's go to the last frame of the animation. And uh, then let's increase the value for the uh, Y location until it's on the other side of the domain. And then press I to keyframe. And then we're going to rotate the uh, empty sphere on the y-axis. So uh, let's set it to minus 1000. And then press I to keyframe the new value. And as you can see, we have the animation. And before we start setting up the smoke, let's uh, save the project. So uh, go to File, Save As, give it a name. And I click enter to save. Okay, so uh, select the uh, domain. And then let's go into the physics settings. And let's start off by setting the resolution to uh, 200. And then let's set the density to minus 0 0.08. And then the uh, temperature difference to uh, 0 0.01. Decreasing these two values will cause the smoke to sink, which is what we want for the uh, smoke simulation. And uh, let's also enable high resolution for the uh, smoke simulation, which uh, makes the smoke look way better in terms of uh, complexity. So let's set it to 3. And uh, then go to cache, which is the uh, smoke uh, calculation. And then click bake to start uh, calculating the smoke simulation. And after maybe an hour of uh, baking, 
you will have the full smoke simulation. And uh, let's go into cycles and use the GPU if you have one. If not, just keep using the CPU. And uh, this is what it looks like in rendered view. The rest of the tutorial is going to be about uh, setting up the lighting, the camera, and the final render. So uh, let's start off by increasing the amount of samples for the viewport. Let's set it to uh, 128. And then let's select the light. Go into the light settings. Let's change it into a uh, sun. And then let's set the strength to 15, which uh, should be enough. And then we're going to change the color of the smoke. So uh, we need to select the domain. And then go into the materials. So domain. And then open volume. And uh, there you can see the color, which you can change. So I'm going to make it blue for uh, this tutorial. And then let's uh, go into the world settings and uh, make the background color white. Okay, so now we have the material and the lighting set up. And you can also hide the overlay so that you can see the uh, light source, the grid, and so on. Let's go back to solid view and set up the camera. So press numpad zero to look through the camera. And then lock the camera to view. Then let's go backwards. And then select the camera. Then go into the camera settings and increase the range of the camera so that we can see the simulation. And then you can play around with the camera location and rotation until we have something that uh, looks great for the final simulation. Okay, so maybe something like this. And then before we get into the render settings, let's uh, save the uh, file. So click File, and then Save As, and click on the plus sign to create a new file, and then Enter or uh, Save. Okay, and then let's go into the uh, render settings, and let's decrease the amount of samples because we don't really need 128 for the final render. So let's set it to uh, 64, for example. And uh, then let's go down to performance. And if you have a GPU, increase the tile size to 512. If you only have a CPU, just leave it at 64. Now let's go to the output settings, change the frame rate to 30 FPS because it looks a little bit better. And then select a folder for the final animation. So just uh, create a folder on your computer and select the folder and then give the animation a name. Now let's do a, a test render before we start rendering the whole animation. So let's go to one of the later frames and keep in mind that the later frames take a lot more time to render than the first frames. So go to render and then set the display mode to the image editor and then click render and then render image. And uh, after a few minutes, we have the results. And I think you can decrease the uh, amount of samples even more. So let's set it to uh, 50. And then go to render. And then render animation. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll post more Blender 2.8 tutorials very soon. So thank you guys for watching, and subscribe.